Hello, my name is David Carr and today I'll be showing you how to make these tea lights. The first thing we need to do for the tea lights as ever is just mark out a simple blank onto the planks. It's worth mentioning these planks were part of a teak worktop that I was able to get hold of so they've already been joined here. So just make sure with the templates that you're working in between any joints that may be in the board. Next thing to do is just simply pop punch the centres so when we come to the pillar drill with the forcing bit it's a little easier. Over at the drill press using a 41mm diameter forcing bit we're drilling down in this case just to the bottom of the top chamfer on the bit. It's advisable however to use a depth stock because the tea lights you're using and the cutter itself may be different. When you're actually drilling these though and boring out the holes, make sure that you're pecking rather than just straight drilling as it can clog up the bit. The next stage is simply to bandsaw out the blanks once they've been bored, and it's worth as well taking off as much of the excess wood as we can to then save on the sanding disc. Over at the disc centre it's now just a case of taking the part back to the line itself. It's just personal preference as to whether you take it back to or just beyond the line, but in this case I was using a thick permanent marker just for visual purposes, so I'll be taking it just beyond the line. I found when I was doing these I wasn't getting a good finish straight off the disc sander, so I decided to set up a stock block on the end of the linisher and use a finer grip paper to work on the sides. For this it's just simply a matter of skimming off the sides to retreat them. And then working on the corners just to round them over. It's again personal preference whether you are rounding them a little or a lot. To put the chamfer on the two lights themselves we're using the router and I've made just a simple jig which I'd suggest otherwise the hands are a little too close to the router bit which the tea lights themselves should nicely sit in the router as it's used. Be careful as ever with the router to make sure you're going the right direction against the cutter as you're processing the billet. You'll notice with this I'm running around the part twice and that's just to make sure if there's any rattle of the tea light within the socket that all of the parts are done properly. And that should produce the chamfer correctly onto the tea light. Now that all the billets are processed it's time to hand finish them these two I've already took the liberty of finishing and now it's on to this one. You can clearly see the difference here between the unfinished on the left and the finished on the right. The first stage to doing this is simply to treat all of the sides and corners on a 240 grit sandpaper board. Once all of the sanding marks off the linisher have been removed off the tea light it's then time to work on the top and bottom. You'll often find straight from the thickness of those slight wavers and ridges left, working with a rough sandpaper and then going to 240 grit. The next area to tackle is the chamfer, which we're just using some 240 grit at the moment to rub round on each of the chamfered edges. Once these have been cleaned up on 
both sides it's then a case of just rubbing with finer and finer sandpaper until you achieve the high gloss finish that's required. In this case however I'm only going and using two different grips which is the 240 to start with and then an 800 grit. Once the final sanding has been done it's now a case of applying a finish to the tea light. In this case we're using just a clear satin wood varnish and the best way I've found to do this so far is to sparingly apply it with a cloth onto all of the surfaces. Then after leaving it for a few seconds, finding a clean part of the cloth, just rub off the excess. This should in theory leave a nice streakless shine. Here are four examples of tea lights previously done, which on the right we've got tea lights processed in exactly the same way, but boiled linseed oil has been applied. the ones on the left which are done in the way shown with the varnish.